Hi, this is Frank Carmody. So we are going to go ahead and uh, get started with Autodesk Inventor Professional 2013. Uh, this is what it will look like when you uh, open up the program for the first time. Uh, the first time might be a little bit clunky. It updates when you launch it for the very first time, uh, but after that it gets a little bit faster. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up what's called an IPT or a part file. And we can do this in a couple of different ways. We can click the new button here on the upper left hand corner, or we can do this handy drop down menu here, which I like to use. Uh, we just click the little upside down black triangle. And that drop down menu, you can click a part, and that will give you a standard.ipt. So, uh, depending on the speed of your computer, you'll, you're going to get this uh, not responding quite a bit. Uh, that's fine. Just go ahead and let it run a little bit. May even give you kind of a white, um, cloudy effect like you see here on my screen. Just let it run. Okay, so here we are in our standard IPT. You notice that uh, it has the standard. You're actually in a window here, so you can go up on the upper right-hand corner and uh, click that um, minimize uh, option there. Um, so that's on the right-hand side of our window. We have down here on the left, we have our, um, our three-dimensional uh, arrows uh, that are useful. Up on the right-hand side, we have our cube, which we can click and drag. Um, there's nothing on our screen yet, so it doesn't do us any good, uh, <laughs> but it's very useful. Uh, on, the, on this toolbar over here, you have on the right side, you have um, your view, all of your different view tools. Um, and then uh, on the left, we have our uh, Explorer. This Explorer bar is very useful. You want to have that open. Uh, it has everything that's in your part file uh, or any file you're working with. Uh, and then on, up on the top here, we have, this, um, we have this bar. Now, the 3D model comes up initially when you open the program uh, and uh, this is um, in the newer versions of uh, Inventor this is how it starts it used to start with a 2D sketch now it gets you right into 3D mode uh, when you start up so the very first thing that we're going to do here is to create a 2D sketch uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on this pencil uh, with the um, grid next to it now we have to choose a plane for our 2D sketch so I clicked on the create 2D sketch now we're going to choose a plane to put our sketch on. This is very useful depending on how you're drawing. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and, and uh, choose this, this plane here, the YX plane. Um, and we're going to click on it anywhere on the plane. And that will give us our 2D sketch. Okay, and notice that we have our front here. Um, now there are a couple things here in our environment that you want to, you want to be aware of. Uh, first of all, um, now that we're in our 2D sketch here, um, uh, let's go ahead and take another just quick look at the uh, the environment that we're in. Uh, the first thing is this ribbon up here at the top. Now this has all of your drawing tools. Notice we're on the sketch uh, tab and that has our sketch ribbon. We can we can click on to different ribbons. Notice this we have 3D modeling but when you're in your 2D sketch uh, you want to be on the sketch tab. You notice you're in the 2D sketch when you see this grid line. Okay so these grid lines are a dead giveaway that you're in your 2D sketch mode. Also, we can go ahead and uh, pivot, and you'll see those grid lines kind of change. Um, when you use this cube, I'm actually clicking and dragging. So click and drag on the cube to turn it. And if we want to get to a particular view, like the front view where I was at before, I can go over the front, notice it highlights, and I can click there on the cube, and it will bring it right back around to the front and center. OK, so now let's say that we get into our program, and the uh, the 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 ribbon is the panel buttons they call them the ribbon is hidden uh, this is actually a multiple uh, click control here so we can click and notice it um, it changes the view that we're in okay so notice that if it's completely gone we just complete we just keep clicking this button here and it will come back uh, to the original view this is the view that I like to have here the, the default one that comes up um, the other thing that we can do uh, is that Sometimes you'll come in and some of these controls will be gone, like your cube, your view options here, your, your this menu to the right, or your explore. And how do you get those back if they're gone? Uh, well, what you do is you go into the view menu here. Uh, you go to you or the view tab. You go to user interface, 
and you can actually remove or add these back in. So if any of them are gone, you can um, you can add these back in uh, using this user interface right here. That's a very useful thing to know where it is. Um, okay, so let's say you you get into Inventor. Let's say you're on a shared computer and you have something that looks like this. Okay, you have something that looks really empty, right? You have something that looks like that. Okay, even worse, right? Uh, well, you can turn all this back on just by clicking the Show Full Ribbon. Okay, then we're on the View uh, tab here. We can go to User of Interface and we can click all those things back in. The View Tube, the View Cube, Navigation Bar, Browser, Status Bar, um, Document Tabs. Um, I like even you know just all of these things turned on. I, I don't turn on the Eco Materials or the iLogic browser myself. So, okay, so let's get back to the sketch tab because that's what we're doing in this video, and we are going to make just a just a couple of different sketches. Uh, Inventor has its own logic to how you draw things, which is going to be different from other programs. Usually, it's a click, drag, and click to make any shape. So let's take a look at that uh, with the circle. So we're on the circle here. We choose a point for our uh, center point of our circle. Uh, we don't want to place it on the origin. See how you have to be aware of when, see I clicked on the circle tool, so now I'm in the circle tool. If I mouse over, if I just move the mouse over that center point, you see how it turns green there? If I were to click here right now, that circle would be stuck on the center point of my 2D sketch. And I don't really want that. I want it to be flexible. So I'm going to not take it right to the center. Like a lot of students do that right off the bat. Uh, so let's just go ahead and click. We move the mouse out and we click again. Okay, now we always, 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 whenever we draw something in Inventor, we always draw and dimension. Okay, almost always. All right. Um, there are some cases where you want to draw a bunch of stuff first and then dimension later, but in almost every case you're going to draw. So we used our circle tool first. We clicked, drag, clicked to make our circle. Now we're in the dimensioning tool. Okay, so to dimension the circle, we're going to click on the outside rim of the circle. So the circle itself, click, pull out, and click to place. Okay, and we're going to make this a four inch circle. Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to make another circle. So I click, oh, I click, get into the circle tool by clicking. I click, move the mouse, click again. Now I'm in the dimension tool. I click, move the mouse out, click again to place. And we're going to make another four inch circle here. Okay. All right, now the line follows the same, uh, same basic, uh, basic uh, drawing premise. So we're going to click move and click. Okay, now notice the line continues because it assumes you're trying to draw a shape, right? So I can move the mouse up, click again. Now to close the shape off, I want to look for that, that little yellow dot that is under, underneath my crosshairs there. I want to make sure that that turns green. Okay, if it turns green, I know I'm closing the shape. You will have difficulty if you do not close your shapes. Okay, so you want to make sure that if you're using the line tool, you know you can make as many lines as you want, but on that last line, you want to close that shape, and that means making that little dot turn green, and clicking for the last time, and that will end your drawing there. Okay, I'm sorry, that will end your uh, use of the line tool. Okay, so of course we want to dimension this as well, and now to dimension a line, the length of the line, we want to go ahead and click pull out. Okay, now notice notice what happened there. That's giving me the height of the line on the dimensioning tool. If I go back in and click again, it gives me the length. Okay, so I can actually change the, the actual dimension that I'm using uh, and I can right click on that and delete. Oops. To get out of the rectangle tool by clicking it again. Whoops. Right click and click OK. Um, I can right click on this dimension and actually go up to delete. Um, okay, so that is the line tool in the circle. Okay, now let's go ahead and make a rectangle. So I'm going to click, move the mouse, and click again. Okay, now to dimension this rectangle, I'm going to click on the side, move it up, click again, and I'm make it four inches. Click the check, click the side, move it out, click again, make it four inches again. Okay. Um, 
so that's my basic rectangle and circle tools and as well as the line tool um, for dimensions of the line tool remember it's, it's a click move it up that'll give us the uh, you know the the length the total length but if we want the length of the line we want to click again on it and then pull it back out and that will give us the actual length of the line and not the um, uh, I guess the X the X space of the of the line itself I don't know how you describe that um, I'm sure there's a word for it that I'm missing <laughs> so okay so we can go ahead through through here we click again pull out uh, we can make all these um, you know different dimensions if we'd like um, okay so we click pull out go back in click on the line again pull back out and that will give us the actual length of the lines there okay click pull out click again pull out okay um, okay so those are kind of our basic drawing tools there let's go ahead and do the arc just for good measure uh, so we in the arc it's a three click so we click pull click and then we have to set the arc okay and we're gonna pull the arc up now to dimension the arc we're gonna go ahead and we actually click just like it's a circle right so we're gonna actually click on the arc we're gonna pull that out and we set an arc just as we would set the radius of the arc okay, just the radius of the circle I mean okay so that's one way to do a dimension on an arc uh, I can actually delete it by right-clicking there um, I can also go from one point oops if I dimension I can actually go from if I highlight the point at the end of the arc here I can actually do the length between the two points in the arc as well okay so the dimensioning tool is pretty flexible depending on what you click on in, in inventor you have to be careful so you have to know exactly what you're clicking on it's 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 uh, much more nuanced than uh, than other other programs you might have used um, so then I can actually dimension the um, radius of this as well okay um, it will give me errors if I start to get too small here oh, I'll get down to four um, okay so uh, so those are our basic drawing tools um, let's go ahead and we're also going to Okay, so there was my, it just took me a minute to get my error. So when I tried to put in a 1 for the radius, it, it gave me my error, and then it just leaves it at 4 there. So that was the error. just took it a minute to work through there. Okay, so that's, that's a good introduction to, uh, to opening up Inventor, uh, to the interface of the Inventor, the environment that you're working in, creating a two-dimensional sketch, and using the basic drawing tools that are there on the Sketch tab. Uh, good luck.